Don't hurt me. Please. Go. What? Go, before I change my mind. changed my mind. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now, so... 
Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. It's perfect. After all these years of failures and disappointment, I've finally done it. I can't believe I've finally done it. All I need to do now is to drink this and it would be all over. I found this in your pocket. Care to explain that to me? Well, I found it outside and I thought it looked expensive, so I just thought I could take it inside or something. Drop it. I don't want to hear you make any lame excuses. It's not an excuse. It's an explanation. You know damn well what I meant! What? If I'm cheating on you? you a personal question. If you were forced to choose, would you call yourself good or evil? Good, I guess. Yet, you have had evil thoughts and occasionally acted upon them. Yeah. Well, you see, it's something that I've always been fascinated by, as long as I can remember. But how? At an intrinsic level, it seems that we have two distinct selves. One good and one evil. Each one of them struggling to take control over our bodies. And as a doctor, I couldn't help but to f wonder if this could be the very key to the very nature of health and illness. For years, it was the only thing I could think about. However, about a year ago, Something amazing happened. Last year? You mean when you were in the Amazons? Yes. Uh, go on, tell me. Well, when I was in the rainforest treating remote tribes, I came across a shaman who worshipped a rare flower. 
believed to cause the soul to separate, allowing the dark side to escape so that the light side could heal. Like nothing I've ever seen before. Later I took a blood sample of the shaman and tested it. Even his genetic makeup was changed. I had to find a flower. I finally succeeded at isolating its isotropic properties, a catalyst to trigger its effect. The question was, what? For months it was all I could think about, and the more I researched for it, the further away it seemed. And then, just when I was about to quit, Jennifer Hyde, that's her name. If your research has a name, but what? How that's even remotely connected to this? Well, you see, tonight she took over my body, and then she killed a man. Angie, I think you need help. What? You I don't believe me. I, I mean. If I'm going to be your wife, obviously it doesn't really matter what I think. I'll, I love you anyhow, but I really do think you need some help, and I, I think I'm gonna call, call to have you committed. Committed? Yes, to, to a psychiatric ward. I, I mean, if. Really, Claire, this isn't what I need. I need to make an antidote. An antidote. Can't you see that? What? Well, Angela, please, just, just listen to me, please. I'll take you to the hospital, all right? Nobody needs to know. No one needs to. Time to find Claire. Look, 
so we can talk about this. Uh, I'm kind of far away at the moment. Are you outside as well? I'm close by the city hall. Oh, maybe you can meet me halfway. Yeah, sure, I'll meet you at the park. Oh, all right, I'll meet you there. Thanks, bye. Mental hospital, Claire. No, no, Claire, get the antidote. Get the antidote. Don't you dare. In my room. It just needs one ingredient. Read my notes. Read my notes, Claire. I will kill you for this, Claire. I promise you. Run.
Rig! Where is your drummer? Drummer? Run away from me! Okay, I can't get cut right by my baby or my mom. No, it's not. Please! Yep. Yeah. 